Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm gonna show you how to root the next bit robin. So if you aren't familiar, rooting is essentially to Android what jailbreaking is to iOS. So in rooting your Android device, it allows us to get complete administrative rights and we can change the software on it. That means removing the bloatware that our carriers put on it or whatever you want. Uh, and then down to things like entirely flashing new versions of Android called custom ROMs. So once we root the device, we can actually flash a so once we root the device, we can actually flash what's called a custom recovery image. Now normally the recovery image is used by your manufacturer to flash the device in case of an error or something. They can flash their own ROMs, which is their entire operating system and everything that is supposed to be on the phone when it comes out of the box. Now what we do is after we have root access, we can put a custom recovery image and that allows us to flash unsigned ROMs or ROMs that are not made by the manufacturer. And there is a huge ecosystem of people developing these ROMs and some of them are really cool with interesting performance tweaks, interesting customizations, and just even some of them are built on newer versions of Android that the manufacturer hasn't quite made a ROM yet for. All kind of cool. So, without further ado, here's how to root, flash a custom recovery, and go through that whole fun process on your next bit, Robin. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Windows for this tutorial, but you can use a Mac by downloading the Mac ADB setup procedure below and following the steps in terminal instead of command prompt. You also need to put the dot slash and other things that you should just know if you're used to doing these type of procedures on a Mac. You can also Google for more information. This will also erase everything on your phone. So please make sure that you back up anything you want to preserve. Okay, so first we're gonna set up ADB. So you can click the link below to be taken to my site and then click this link here. And it's really quick, it only takes about five minutes to do. Uh, essentially you're going to download a quick program that will then install uh, ADB, Fastboot, and everything else, including the drivers that you will probably need. After that, we're going to download the recovery image. Normally, a recovery image is used to recover a phone when it is damaged or broken by the manufacturer. We're gonna actually flash a custom recovery image that will allow us to not only do that for ourselves, but to do other things like flash uh, custom ROMs and also to flash files that will allow us to get root access, which is what we're gonna do in this tutorial. So, click the link here to download the latest version of the TWRP recovery. Click the next link to also download the Super SU. Okay, so if you get a choice to save those files in a certain place, we need to put them in the C ADB folder. Now that's gonna be what was created whenever you did the ADB tutorial that I linked to before. So if it didn't do that, give you an option, that is, uh, mine automatically puts it in downloads. We're gonna find those two files in downloads and we're going to copy them over to that folder uh, and just make sure that it is in the folder with ADB and Fastboot both inside. After we do that, we need to enable USB debugging on the phone. So we're going to pull down the notification, tap at the top, tap on settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down to build number and continually tapping it until it says you're a developer. We can then hit back, go to developer options and in here, we're going to enable OEM unlocking, click enable, and USB debugging, and click OK. Okay, then we're going to plug the phone in via USB, and we're going to go to that ADB folder. We're going to hold down shift on our keyboard and right click in any blank area in here, and then hit open command window here. Once in there, we can type in ADB devices and hit enter. And this is to check to make sure that our phone and computer can see each other. Uh, it says unauthorized here. So to fix that, we need to go on the phone and you'll see this dialogue pop up. We're gonna say always allow and click okay. And then back on the computer, we can type ADB devices again. And this time it should say device next to the serial number, which means it can see it. So now we're going to type ADB, reboot bootloader and wait for the device to reboot. Then we're gonna type fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. If at this point it gets stuck at waiting for device, we're going to close the command prompt, then right click anywhere blank in that same ADB folder and hit open command window here again to get a fresh 
command prompt. Then we're going to type in fast boot, but we're gonna put in this little extra bit at the end, which you can copy and paste from my site below or just read it from here and type it in. Uh, then finish the rest of the command, OEM unlock. Now, for some reason, uh, the next bit Robin requires this sometimes, not all of the devices apparently, but some of them do. So if we get stuck here waiting for device, you just need to make sure you put that little piece at the end of every fast boot command. So it'll be fast boot, that piece, and then whatever the rest of the command is. So we're gonna do that for the rest of this tutorial. It'll say this on your phone. So we're going to uh, push volume down to select yes and power to select that but keep in mind that at this point this is where you will uh, erase your device so just make sure that before this you have everything backed up it'll reboot and we can wait for that once the device reboots go through the normal setup process to get back to your home screen once we do that we need to re-enable usb debugging so we're going to go back into settings back into about phone Tap build number so we can be a developer. Go back, developer options, USB debugging, back on, hit OK. And back in our command prompt, we can type ADB devices again. And we'll get this dialog again that we can tap always allow and OK to. And then we're going to type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Then we can type fast boot, and I'm gonna paste my little extra part afterwards. And then flash recovery, recovery.img, and hit enter. And then we can unplug the phone, and we're gonna push the volume down button to get to recovery, and the power button to select it. And it should boot into the TeamWin recovery that we just flashed onto the device. If it tells you decrypt data, just hit cancel, and then here, it's gonna say we want to make things not just read only. So we're gonna say yep to that by swiping to allow. Then on this screen, we're gonna actually wipe data and we need to do this in order to disable the encryption that you just saw. Hit wipe format data, type in yes, and hit the check mark at the bottom right. Then we can hit back, back again, back again. And then on a computer, we can type adb push super su.zip space sd card hmm, super su.zip and hit enter. And that'll push the super su.zip file uh, that we downloaded earlier to the storage after we've formatted the phone. And then we can tap install super su.zip and swipe to confirm and then wait for it to install. Once that says it's done, we can tap Reboot System and wait for it to reboot. And then the device will reboot. You'll need to go through the setup process one more time. Okay, then once it reboots, we can download an app called Root Checker from the Play Store so that we can make sure it has root and tap that once we open it. It should give us a super user request. We can hit Grant and it should say that it is rooted. There you go, you're rooted, have a custom recovery, and can go on to do any number of things, including flashing custom ROMs, which are a lot of fun. Uh, if you wanna do any of that though, click the link below to be taken to my site where I have a really cool ROM repository filled with ROMs for a lot of devices, and you can sort by device and other uh, facets as well. I also have a video on how exactly to flash a ROM regardless of the device you have, so check that out. Uh, Otherwise, uh, let me know if you guys have any issues with this tutorial. Don't write them in the comments on YouTube, though. They don't notify me when you do that. So please click the link below to be taken to the article on my site where you can comment there, and I'll try to help you as best I can. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.